I am Taina Ruskanen, and this lecture is about air quality observations. Let's start by thinking about good air quality. Now you can either listen to my example, or first pause the video and think about a moment when you've experienced good air quality. What would you tell your friend about it? I was standing inside a forest in Hyytiela. The air was fresh from previous night's rain, and I could see the blue sky. It was easy to breathe. Now what about poor air quality? Again, either listen to an example, or pause and think of a case when you've experienced poor air quality. What kind of observations did you make? I was standing in a plume of smoke. I couldn't see the trees that were only a few hundred meters away from me. The smoke hurt my lungs when I breathed, and it stung my eyes. I was relieved to step outside of the plume and breathe again freely. Air quality describes how good the air is for breathing or for plants and ecosystems to live in. Now we can make personal observations and uh, describe if it was easy to breathe or difficult to breathe, and in this way get some kind of description of, of the quality of air. However, for systematic comparison, we need measurements of pollutant concentrations. In this lecture, we'll first look at typical features of measurements that are used for research purposes, and then go through monitoring aims. However, it's good to keep in mind that sometimes one measurement, for instance, that is done for monitoring, can also be used to look at a research question. Research aims are typically very extensive and aim at finding new knowledge so that, uh, for instance, weather or air quality predictions can be improved, or so that policies can be made that are more efficient. Monitoring aims at reduction of exposure, or then monitoring that regulations or policies have been followed. Quite often, measurements are supported by modeling. And in this way, not everything needs to be measured in every point, but we can also find uh, information of, of the air quality in between the measurement points or in a wider grid area.